What's up guys, Gunthix here from Good Gaming. Sorry about the time between this one and my last showcase. It was due to the fact that I don't own the greatsword that needed to be showcased, so I had to heavily farm the gold required. So with all this cleared up, on to the second episode of the greatsword showcases. Our expensive greatsword is just that. So the boring bits of this greatsword, I never get it, because the gold to obtain this weapon is not worth the weapon skin. The weapon itself is massive no matter what way you look at it and the sound effects make it easily recognisable, like so. The hilt of this greatsword is a standard hilt, just enlarged to look less out of proportion to the rest of the weapon. The stock of this greatsword is actually an exhaust pipe. There are six in total and all attached to a larger pipe that wraps around the top of the sword as well. Where this pipe meets the blade of the sword, a cog can be found on either side. These are both connected to chains that head alongside the blade edge and meet up at the tip where two additional cogs can also be found. The blade is jagged blades along the edge and a strange red marking that fits well with the whole char feel of the sword. Upon unsheathing this weapon, the six exhausts begin to emit a black fog and the chain as well as the blade edge begin to move. Upon swinging the sword, the sound effect also speeds up like so. My cheap weapon may not be cheap, but in comparison to the Great Saw, is worth nothing. It's Crystal Guardian. First the boring bits, it is acquired from Gilded Strongboxes and Branded Strongboxes, or you can purchase it off the trading post. The hilt of this weapon has a blue crystal on its base, and then another located just a short distance away. The hilt is also broken away from the rest of the greatsword. The first blade section places a short section of the hilt, and then attaches a larger rock that slightly wraps back up in the direction of the hilt. At the end of this, there is a free floating crystal that has free movement on its own. In between the first blade section and the middle section, five crystals can be seen floating around. The middle section to the greatsword blade is a lot more of a detail of a rock laced with crystals. It also contains blue veins running through it. This rock section, just like the single crystal, always moves. In between this section and the lower one, another four crystals are free floating, and the final section to the blade is a lot more detailed as a rock, and just has four crystals placed on its edge. The whole blade has a blue particle effect that has balls of light falling from it. Whether you are lucky enough to grab the greatsword during the first Halloween or shortly thereafter, or you love the fractal feel of the Crystal Guardian, both of these greatswords are equally amazing in my opinion. What do you think of these greatswords? What would you like to be showcased next? And we also heard that you want us to get social media, so we set up a Twitter account. You can find that link in the description below. So as always guys, may your games be good.